Adverse childhood experiences, like the loss of a loved one, can leave indelible scars. In a Newark ward, some kids are learning to handle it with help. Michael Hill earned a Dennis A. Hunt Fund for Health Journalism Fellowship at the University of Southern California and has produced a series of reports on trauma's tragedy and treatment. It was a hurt like no other. Christine Burlew had grieved before, but not for the same reason. Basically, we removed him from life support when we found out that there was um, no hope. No hope for their 28-year-old son, Joey, a victim of an addiction relapse three years ago. Joey was an EMT, literally a lifesaver. His heroics? He pulled a woman from a sinking car in the Newark Bay in 2008. In death, six of his organs were donated to others. Here's Burlew listening to Joey's heart and a donor recipient. He is still living. To live with the grief, Burlew and Joey's then eight-year-old daughter turned to Imagine. It's a center for loss to help the grieving cope. I personally um, try and take comfort that um, my son's at peace in a better place. Um, honoring his memory is a big one. Burlew says nearly three years later, she and her granddaughter still rely on Imagine to deal with the loss. The Childhood Bereavement Estimation Model considers such a death one of the most disruptive yet neglected adverse childhood experiences. Nationally, one in 15 children will lose a parent or sibling by the age of 18. In New Jersey, one in 17. New Jersey has a handful of grief support centers. In March, Imagine is opening one right here in the hood, as Newark's Mayor Raz Baraka has described it. This is the National Action Network Tech World in Newark's hard-hit South Ward. The person eager to direct the programming here, Jocelyn Matthews. It feels refreshing to know that you're not alone. You're not grieving alone, um, and you're not walking through this journey alone. Imagine says it does not offer counseling or therapy, but it does offer therapeutic peer support through groups and facilitators who make conversations easier. Clinical training director Connie Palmer's tour shows what's coming to Newark. Colorful murals of sea creatures and mammals, all with the purpose, line the hallways. So we talk about the elephant in the room here, and I think that's a relief for kids. Like, yeah. we can say these things out loud. A simulated hospital room. This way they can reenact exactly what they experienced when their parent or uh, perhaps sibling was ill. So they have dolls here that they um, will talk about. Let's say, you know, one night of support, I remember this. The, one of the kids said, he has a subdural hematoma. <laughs> or often they'll say, oh, he has, he's having chemo, so he lost all his hair. Or they're had to amputate his leg or they'll ask the facilitators to lay down in the bed and they'll pretend that they're sick and they'll put on these doctors and nurses uh, outfits and use the medical equipment here to do surgeries to do checkups and all sorts of things like that if kids learn and express themselves through play the rooms toys and games here offer plenty of opportunity for what palmer calls imagined moments this uh, little girl went over and took the giraffe and, and knocked it down like this, and she said to the facility, that's how I found my daddy. Powerful expressions that Imagine considers indispensable for coping. And when we don't talk about our trauma, when we don't talk about our loss, it stays inside of us. And we see people getting sick physically or mentally ill, uh, having depression and anxiety, using substances or acting out aggressively. For the 500 or so grief support centers in America, loss goes well beyond the loss of life. If you uh, have your children taken away from you, or if you have someone who's incarcerated, or you lose a relationship, or you move, or you lose your home, are you going to have grief? Imagine allowed our cameras in to capture staff and faculty training at a chief charter school. Imagine uses the phrase listening to behavior to identify when kids are struggling with an issue and express it by acting out. There has to be something that's going on behind the scenes that's causing this behavior. What am I learning? What can I learn from how this one is um, interacting with other students? How they're doing in class, or if they're able to concentrate or not. They addressed how grieving is not the same for everyone. In one exercise, they tossed around a beach ball and read the statements written on it. If you can't or don't cry when someone dies, it means you didn't love them. I disagree. Another one, life is like a box of dominoes. Palmer pretends she's a 10-year-old, fifth-grade Newark boy. He lives with his strict but caring grandmother, worries about and avoids an older brother getting involved in drugs. Here's my younger brother. He and I are really close. I, I get along with him really well. 
here are my friends. I, I just started uh, at this new school, and you know, last year it was I, I miss my old friends, but I'm just starting to make some new friends, so that's good. And here's my school domino. Um, you know, last year I, I really struggled with some of my. And right in the midst of my life, I get called to the office. And my aunt is there. She says, I'm so sorry to tell you this, but your grandma had a heart attack. And she died. So how many of you felt that? Because that's how loss happens. Watch again how some react to the shrill of the spill. Palmer explains death is just that sudden that life-changing, and asks, who's responsible for picking up life's pieces? Whoever dropped it. Okay. Now, now, she's funny, but it's, whose life is it? It's my life. I'm the only one who can pick these up. But Palmer adds, these trainees, the school environment, have a role in supporting the grieving boy, even while society and reality may want to rush the process for the boy and many others like him who suffer loss or trauma, to get over it. Imagine will run support groups at four schools in the South Ward. Thanks to the South Ward Children's Alliance's $30 million Federal Promise Neighborhood Grant. In our next report, the major campaign to screen children for adverse childhood experiences. In Newark, Michael Hill, NJTV News.